With 12 games left of the season, four of the bottom clubs have now changed managers. Swansea have changed twice, while Leicester have yet to replace Ranieri but secured a spirited victory over Liverpool understanding Craig Shakespeare. Only Sunderland and Middlesbrough have stuck with their bosses since the season began. Sam Allardyce took over at Crystal Palace in game week 18, only to enjoy his worst start to any club career. Marco Silva and Paul Clements started at Hull City and Swansea City respectively, in time for game week 21. Palace under Alan Pardew were a free scoring side who couldn't win because they couldn't defend. Pre Allardyce, Palace has averaged 1.65 goals per game from 4.18 shots on target per game, creating 9 chances per game. This has dropped off significantly as Allardyce sacrifices forward momentum for defensive stability. And Allardyce has, in tightening up, improved Crystal Palace's defence. Since taking over, he now has the Eagles conceding at a rate of 1.56 goals per game from 4.67 shots on target, face per game. This is an improvement, but it's not significant. Sadly for Palace and Allardyce, the side are scoring at roughly a third of their previous rate, but have only marginally reduced their goals conceded. Defending has improved, but at possibly too great a cost in terms of pushing forwards. Swansea's Paul Clement and Hull's Marco Silva have only had six games each in charge of their respective sides, compared to Allardyce's nine. A smaller sample size, but with far more encouraging results. Pre-Clement, Swansea was scoring 1.15 goals per game, which he has improved to 1.5 goals per game. Swansea have actually created fewer chances though. The Swan shots on target have dropped from 4.25 per game, pre-Clement, to 3.17 per game, and chances created have dropped from 8.6 per game to 5.67 per game under Clement. Hull City are also scoring more under Marco Silva, one goal per game, up from 0.85 goals per game. They too have dropped off in shots on target, managing 3 per game under their new boss, down from 3.55. But they are creating more, just 7.33 chances per game, up from 7.1 chances per game. It's at the back where both Swansea City and Hull City have improved markedly. Hull's new signings, especially Andre Ranosia as well as Silva's recall, of Eldin Jakupovic have contributed to this marked improvement in concession, bigger than the improvement in shots on target faced would suggest. Swansea's improvement is more marginal but suggests a more systematic approach to the defensive structure. Palace are the only side of the three who have decreased under their new boss. While some might suggest that new manager bounce being at play, six games in charge is long enough to infer a material improvement, especially when the defensive numbers back this up. The chances are that Hull are already in too much trouble to recover. Despite the improvement under Silva, Hull haven't left the relegation zone. Swansea have and could well survive, while under Sam Allardyce, Palace have entered the drop zone. Having said that, if one looks at the new rate of points per game, it's possible for both Swansea City and Hull City to escape. Sunderland look nailed to the foot of the table, but both Crystal Palace and Middlesbrough's points per game are bad enough to put them into the usual relegation level bracket. Taking points per game under the new manager for the remaining 12 games of the season, Hull and Swansea achieve safety, whilst Palace go down. The relegation battle is always hard to predict because of how teams change and function under pressure, but there's no doubt that Marco Silva and Paul Clement have improved their teams, while Sam Allardyce has made his worse. So much for needing Premier League experience. If there's a particular team or player you'd like to see featured in a future episode of By the Numbers, please leave a comment and let us know. Thanks for watching.